Alright, so I've come up with a way to temporarily fix this thing. A bunch of stuff here in my pocket. Put that quarter, we don't need that. What I do here is get the parts dish, get everything in the parts dish, set the parts dish right there. And I'm gonna open this up. I really should have blown this out with the air hose next door, but. I'll probably be getting a new filter for this anyways. Let's see if we can pull this thing out. Just clean it out briefly. Whew, man. That is dirty. Set this here just because. Okay, kind of beat this on here. We got the thing over the intake, so you know we're not getting anything in the engine. What we'll eventually do is pull the shroud off, you know, before we get ready to use this thing a whole lot, just make sure there's no mice nest in there. But I'm just gonna at least test drive it here in a bit. But I want to make sure we're not gonna be sucking things into the engine through that hole. So I'm gonna find a temporary screw to put in there. I've, I've ordered the right one, but it won't be in for a couple days. I mean, it's a little cleaner than it was. You know, we got the dust out. I've got to get a new one of these, you know. Um, just get the tune-up, all the necessary tune-up. We know it runs, but we want to change this, <clears throat> change this wheel and uh, try to test drive this thing here in just a bit. So anyways, oh man. Anyways, we're gonna pop that back in. This in here, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm, I know I was probably blocking the way. Yep, we're good there. Not sure what exactly this thing even does. Yeah, that's what this one is. All right. Wait. I was forgetting something. Dish, get this screw. No, not yet. First thing we're gonna do, let me set this aside. I got this little carburetor screw out of an old carb. That's the same thread as um, this hole on the bottom because I checked what I the carb I took it out of where I took it out. This also screwed in just fine, so it's the same thread. I'm gonna put the spring on just for the heck of it, so it's got a little tension, keeps it tight. And we're just gonna screw this in to the bottom of the carburetor here. Get this a little tight, and that'll seal up that hole so we're not leaking all over the place. You know, temporary fix. It's not going to be like that forever. Once I get the right screw in, you know, we'll change it. it looks like a mixture screw down there, too. But, you know, we don't have to get it too tight or anything. Just get it, you know, snug in there. And um, no gas will leak out the bottom. Now, we're going to go ahead and set the air filter back on. And uh, get the top cover. And let's see which hole. Yeah, this hole right here, where the screw that I ordered is going to go into. But we don't want to have that open, so what we're going to do is find a screw that'll screw in there. Now, this is a little big right here. I was hoping this was not. I was hoping this would just slide in. I could put a nut on the other end, but if I can screw this in, we shouldn't have a problem. And that'll just kind of seal this hole off, you know, temporarily. And this, of course, this thing's going to not be that tight on there, but if we tighten the other screw, make sure it's flat. I don't think we're going to be sucking in a lot of dirt. The big areas we'd be sucking dirt in is the open holes. But it looks like I might be having to get a smaller... Of course, these aren't threaded, so I'm not going to mess anything up. I'm just going to tighten this. 
on here. Basically self-tapping at this point. We need to get it that tight just to close that hole up so we're not sucking a bunch of unnecessary debris in there. And boom, just like that. You know, nothing's getting in there. And we're just going to drop this back on. Once again, temporary fix. Get all together here. really it needs to be tight on here and I have no clue where the original screw went for this it sucks that we can't have it right now you know I have absolutely no spares but if we can get this tight over here in theory it would probably sit pretty snug right here as well yeah. I had to order it on eBay which will take several days unlike Amazon Really wish I had that screw. All right, so update. There's no way that's gonna work. It's gotta get tight over there. So I'm afraid I'm getting stalled on this project here because that screw is the one thing missing off this tractor is that screw. So that was probably getting debris getting sucked into that carburetor like crazy. I don't know. <sighs> if I just had a screw, you know, and I gotta wait several days for them to ship it on eBay. It's Memorial Day weekend too, so it'll probably be delayed like crazy. Okay, so this fix here is uh, highly not recommended, but I think it'll hold it tight enough so we're not sucking any debris in, and we can at least test drive this thing a bit. Probably tighten this a little bit more. But other than that, it's nice and snug. Oh yeah, I would even tighten that down quite a bit too. Yeah, that's gonna be um, that's gonna stay on there now. So we'll put some gas in the tank, see if we can get it to suck some fuel in, and uh, see if we can get it to run sustain for a bit. Actually, first I'm gonna probably go ahead and change this tire real quick. Um, to do that, I need to pull this trailer forward. The whole idea of moving that forward is so we can get this in here, this old school tractor jack. Let's change the tire. Oh, 
Bushings out of work, but that's not a good idea. Hmm. Got another slightly smaller tire that might work here, but we really have to fix this rim. It's tubeless. You have to get the tube for it, or get a tube put in it, or something. You know. I got this John Deere over here. I'm gonna just try to take the tire off off camera and see if that might work. All right, so the tire off the John Deere was a bust. So I could take the bushings out, get some grease, try to run it on that. Or maybe I could try to take a tire off my Ford tractor. Maybe that would work, I don't know. But I gotta go run over to the other garage again. Okay, so I've got one more trick up my sleeve first before we do this. I'm going to try to get this um, tire back on the rim here. First time I've done this, so wish me luck. Both sides. First time I've done this. Boom! There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? I did it there for a second, but I think it was just a little too much. That was just a little bit too much, so we're going to try that again here. I'll let that cool down first, so. All right, so it's nighttime, and I'm ready to attempt the tire again. Shout out to Tyler who's going to be helping me now that he's off work. And there's the tractor. We got uh, the old motion lights fixed here. We've got a fire going. And we're about ready to roll. I've um, got some fresh starting fluid over here. And we'll go ahead and give this a shot here. I just flip it with my hands. That's what I've been doing. Well, we're going to give it a shot here in just a bit. All right, the neighbors have started with their music again, guys. Got my water sitting back here. And give this a shot again. Get ready to put it on there, okay? guys could not have done that myself thank you so much Tyler shout out to his channel do you even have the gloves on I had him on yeah okay. yeah big time shout out to Tyler for that wow thank you so much man all right time to put that tire on all right so we got some grease here guys uh, I don't have a typical grease gun or anything I just got a little tube of MTD grease Basically what I've been doing is just putting this on the uh, on the axle there, just a little line of it. That's what I've been doing with my other tractors lately. 
Take the other side off, grease sat, you know. Preventative maintenance, getting ready for the first run here. It's been pretty good. Alright, we'll pop off the other side. Alright, so to give you guys a little bit of an extra closer idea of what I'm doing here, um, let's see if I can get it my get a grip on this. Just pop that ring off. Pull this off. This is because our grease guns are out of grease right now and we don't really have the right kind of tube to fill it at the moment. Just using a little MCD grease. I want to feel this. Not too much wear or anything. I'll just start back in there. Glob it in. Just do a little line of it. Make sure it's nice and thick all the way to the end. Not too, I mean, you don't have to put that much on. That was a bit excessive there, but, you know, it keeps the axle from wearing down. Just slide it right back on there. Give it a little spin. Push your washer back on, and you get this little C-ring on. I guess that's called a C-ring, right? Boom. Just like that. Good to go. Okay, we are ready to set the tractor down, I think, right? Anything else we want to do? Rolling? Not yet. Yeah. Alright, we're setting it down now. I think it was a parking brake set. I'm not so sure how exactly you disengaged it. Yeah, there it is. It's right. So should we try to get a little starting fluid in there, or do you think? It's, well, I think it might. Make I think it pour some gas in, and it'll turn over. Start right back. I mean, it'll turn over. Oh, well, I don't know. Check the spark yet? Yeah? yeah, check the spark. Good thing. Safety nozzle stuck down on this one. I hate those new safety. We just got our two amp. We just need a little bit more extra juice to get it to turn over. We got the parking brake set, so should be good here.
you guys have it. That's a heck of a runner. Um, a little bit of revving at high speeds. Could you notice that? Yeah. It seems like it cleaned up a little bit there towards the end, but um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and order a new carburetor just to maybe rebuild this one eventually with. Um, I don't know. And we got some other parts for the air filter coming in. I want to check that right now. Let's see here. got my bungee cords holding on that screw should be in before too long well, that's it's pretty snug on there though you know it's not moving much especially with the other screw so yeah it didn't look like it was smoking at all oh yeah except for when we first started it up there which is you know expected everything steering. electrical works all right how's the steering steering is great it, ready, it hasn't even been greased yet spin? yeah i'll take it for a spin yeah you may record you then yeah. all right so tyler's gonna give it a shot now I'm gonna try not to use the battery charger. Turn it over quick for the. Oh man. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to hook up the battery charger. Go ahead, give it a shot. All right, so Tyler's gonna go ahead and take it for a spin now. Throttle up to get the oil splashing. those lights and throttle up. Second gear. Well, everybody, I think we'd like to thank you for watching. That's all we're going to record tonight. We're going to keep working, though. Um, we want to get the belt on. I don't think we're going to do a video of that because we got a ton of footage here recorded on this video on this video alone. But we'll uh, promise to show you guys some daytime footage of it mowing tomorrow. Hopefully the belt I got's right. And um, if I ever have to replace the belt again, I'll do a video on it then. But for now, we've got a ton of footage of... Uh, on me unloading it and just doing stuff to it and just some, my little hack to kind of fix that uh, air filter. Once again, I don't really re recommend that, but I will be getting the proper part in in a couple days, hopefully, and I can fix it properly then. Um, and we'll be able to, we ordered a carburetor just because they didn't sell rebuild kits. We want to rebuild the original because it's in still pretty good shape. And we're probably going to wind up changing the oil tonight too, but other than that. All right, everybody. So next day we've done a little bit more work on it. Pulled the shroud off, looking for mouse nests. We were all good there, it was nothing. Did a couple oil changes on it. Last one just this morning. We're gonna start this up, warm it up a bit, get that oil all splashed around in there. We also put some grease there on the gears. Mower deck belt's on. What's kind of weird is that it's um, engaged, it's disengaged when it's in the engaged, engaged position. It's engaged back there, so I don't know what's going on there. 
Yeah, like I was saying, now we got the belt back on. What's weird is that it seems like the belt's tighter when it's disengaged towards the back and loosens up towards the front. So I don't know what's going on there. We got to figure that out, but we're going to go ahead and test it here and see what happens. So Tyler, I'm going to hand the phone over to you. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this hood right now. Deck. It's in neutral. Parking brake. It's on. They stop that anyway. Day two, end of day two, could finally record now. It's been a belt fiasco all day on this. Um, the 71 inch belt I had was looking way, 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 way too tight. Turns out we had it hooked up wrong. This is a 72 on here right now, which looks like it's gonna work. You know, it's not gonna be perfect, but. It's engaged right now, I think it should work. Oh, and I have it hooked up wrong down there over a bolt for some reason. But anyways, right there is the proper way to hook it up. I'll do a more in-depth video on this eventually. I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos on this actually. I'm gonna have to disengage this. One of the weird things, I think I recorded something on it yesterday is when, or today maybe even, when we engaged it, when we put it in engage, when we had it hooked up wrong, it would disengage. When we do it, when we'd uh, go to disengage it, by moving this lever back, it would engage it. And that's because we had the belt hooked up wrong over here. But I'm gonna fix my other screw up right here before I fire this thing up, which is right there. By the way that is, it looks like it's been over that bolt before, which could uh, be why the guy I bought it from said it shredded on him a couple times. Anyways. We put this on the tripod. We're gonna fire this thing up, and we're gonna test it out here. Um, I gotta see what are we what are we gonna be able to mow around here. We got an area. Two, whatever I decide to do with this video. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you wish. Maybe this is on Ohio Railroad Productions, but maybe I've created a new channel for tractor videos. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. See you in the next video or live stream. Well, everybody, it's the 4th of July now. Um, 
there's the Dynamark right over my shoulder there. It's been doing a ton of work around here lately. I have the proper belt now. Um, I've done some more work on it. Expect some more videos on it soon. But once again, taking me a while to get videos posted. I'm going to try to get this out tonight and get another one ready for maybe Ohio Railroad Productions or something. Because later tonight, I think we're going to be live streaming some of the fireworks around here. I'm not going to be setting off a whole lot of my own. Yes, it is legal in Ohio now to set off your own fireworks. Because uh, we want to get some more fireworks after the 4th of July when they're all discounted. And um, then we'll really do a big fireworks show uh, this upcoming weekend. But 4th of July is on a Tuesday, you know. We can wait a little, a little while longer till the weekend. And they they shoot off fireworks around here. The, my neighbors and everything, you know, what little neighbors I have in this area. Um, they shoot off fireworks a month before the 4th of July and a month after the 4th of July. I mean, you'll see them all summer long, really. But um, So it's no big deal. But yeah, there's the Dynamark. It just mowed around the house up here earlier today. Um, expect more videos than that. Expect some more uh, videos in general and on some uh, new projects of mine. And, um, yeah, I'm eventually going to do a video about how you properly hook up the deck belt on there because it seems like something a lot of people made mistakes with before from my research. So, um, expect that soon as well. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I really want to build up sub the subscribers on this new channel. So, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to seem like I'm being pushy, but it does, it does help a lot. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.